What's up guys, Brandon Havrillo with RevMax Events, and today I'm gonna to show you how to quickly set up your Blitz FX Spark Machines, whether you purchase these or whether you're renting them from us here at RevMax Events. When we rent these out, we send them out with a few things. The first thing is going to be a long 25 foot DMX cable. It's a standard three pin cable. We use this to connect them when we're using the remote. In the case, you're going to have your two Spark Machines. You're going to have a brand new pack of Spark Powder. We recommend splitting one pack between the two machines for your standard event. You're also gonna find your RF remote. You're going to have two PowerCon cables. PowerCon goes into your Edison wall outlet and then you have your blue PowerCon connector that twists into the back of the machine. You're going to have a manual trigger remote option and you're also going to have your two wireless remote receivers. So these go into the machines and on top it indicates when they're ready to launch and then it detects the signal from your remote. Now, the first thing you're gonna do on your machines is give them power. So with the two included PowerCon cables, you're going to go into the blue port on the back of your machine, turn to the right until it clicks and locks into place. Make sure your fixtures are in the off position. There's an on off switch on the back while you're plugging these in. Once plugged in, you can flip the fixtures on. The green lights on the menus will come on and they're now in warm up mode they're gonna start beginning to warm up to operating temperature. The first way to control these I'm gonna show you is using your wireless remote. So you're gonna plug the receiver box into the plug labeled remote on the back of your machine. You'll see the red light comes on, that means it's heating up. They do have a magnet, you can conveniently magnet them to the top of the machines. These lights are going to turn green once they are ready to launch. The wireless remote has two buttons you really have to worry about. The big red ones on top are labeled one and two. Button one is going to launch the fixtures. Button two is going to turn them off or stop launching the fixtures. Now, although the wireless remote does work pretty well in most circumstances, if you are spreading these out fairly far or on either side of your DJ booth, I do recommend that you daisy chain the fixtures in a master slave configuration using the included DMX cable that we give you. This just ensures that when you launch one, they'll both fire at the same time. This is even more crucial if you have four spark machines that you're using. So what we do is we take your DMX cable, you come out of one machine using your DMX out port, and you go into your other machine with the DMX in port. Once that is configured and set up, now they are in master slave mode. If you did purchase these fixtures new, they do not come in master slave mode by default, so you're gonna cycle through the menu over to the master slave option, hit enter, and turn them on. As soon as these are warmed up, we'll be back. Now that both green ready lights are on, these machines are ready to fire. I'm gonna simply use button one to turn it on and button two to turn it off. You'll see the first time we launch them, there is a slight delay. Usually what that is is the powder getting into the actual like funnel machine. So what I do recommend is obviously always test them before the event, but you'll see now that they're ready to go and I press it, they're both gonna start at the same time. Now, reminder, these are cold spark effects, meaning they're not necessarily gonna light anything on fire, but you do wanna make sure you're not in a room with a short ceiling where the sparks are bouncing off the ceiling or anything. Um, I have a piece of regular printer paper here. You'll see from doing it before, there are some little marks on it, but it's not gonna catch the paper on fire. That is everything with the RF remote, however, there is a manual mode and that's with the included manual remote. If you do want to use this option, what I recommend doing is removing the RF remote receivers, leave your DMX cable attached and whichever fixture you came out of with your DMX cable, which in this case is this one, that's the one you are going to plug your manual remote in with. As soon as you plug it in, since these are already heated up, you've got the green light on it. And once you press this, it's going to launch the two machines. Do keep in mind that the longer you hold this, the longer they launch. It's not like the remote where you have an on off, it's simply this green button. You'll see this one's running out of powder. We just put a small amount in for demo purposes. The last thing I do wanna note is occasionally this green screen will start flashing. If that happens on either machine, that means you need the card to register them. Those cards are included in the case and they also come with every new pack of spark powder. All you have to do is grab a card and simply wave it by the back of the screen here and press it against it. When the light is flashing after you hold it there for a second or two, 
the light will go back to solid green and the fixtures will be ready to go. When it is flashing, it comes out of warm up mode. So after that, you will need to wait for it to preheat again. That's everything on the basic operation of your Blitz FX units from Pro X. If you guys are in the tri-state area and you're interested in renting these units, we do have several here at the Red Max Events Bohemia facility that are available for pickup and drop off rentals. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys are out on a gig and trying to troubleshoot or if you are looking into purchasing these units. Once again, my name is Brandon. We hope to see you guys soon.